Greetings and welcome to the ECIH series here at IT Pro TV. I will be your host throughout the series and my name is Daniel Lowry. I've got a little over 20 years experience and I've got quite a few certifications underneath my belt that are security focused. Joining us will also be a one Mr. Adam Gordon. Adam, welcome to the show, sir. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. Tell us a little bit about yourself, sir. Uh, I am Adam. I am me. You are not. So no. I also work with Daniel here at IT Pro TV. I'm an entertainer and I focus on anything and everything related to infrastructure and security. You've certainly probably seen both of us in many courses here at IT Pro TV, but if this is your first time watching any of our content or perhaps watching a course related to security, I want to welcome you and also tell you it's going to be a really interesting journey. You're going to get to learn a lot of really cool things, both hands-on as well as discussion-based. And we're going to spend a lot of time showing you how to become a successful incident handler and response team member, as well as hopefully taking and passing the ECIH exam, if that's what your ultimate goal is. Awesome. Well, I guess that's a, a great first question. Who is this course designed to reach? So when we think about potential audience right, associated with ECIH, uh, it can be anybody that's looking to become an incident handler, whether you're a forensics expert who perhaps is part of an IHNR team, you may be a network administration or system administration professional that's been asked to bring your expertise of infrastructure into this response effort, either perhaps virtually, perhaps full-time, perhaps on demand. But whatever you do, whoever you are, if you're a manager, if you're an operator, if you're a professional just starting out and looking to learn more about incident handling and response, we welcome all of you because any and all of you can benefit from this information. Awesome. I guess that lends us to the what. So what exactly, at least in a condensed format, are we going to be learning in this series? So when we think about the generally the coverage, right, the knowledge associated with ECIH and what it is involving, we're going to be focusing on the methodologies associated with incident handling and response, how we deal with the overall process really at a high level, what it means to respond to an incident, what it means to ultimately identify the issues and concerns associated with that, to uh, set up containment, to ultimately understand how to analyze, to respond, to mitigate, and then to document, tell that story through reporting, and ultimately recover those systems, hopefully back to full functionality. We'll take a look at how to do that all up as a process flow. We'll look at that in different areas of our network or data center and infrastructure, organizational, operational landscapes, in email, in the cloud, using web applications, talking about networking and network traffic, both wireless and wired. We'll take a look at the forensics aspects of IH&R, of incident handling and response. And we've got a special hands-on section dedicated to the use of tools that are gonna make you more successful and hopefully help you to understand how to implement those skills. And Dan and I are gonna walk you, showing you how to use those in a specific focused environment where you can play with them and see everything about them. Well, I guess that actually touches on my last question, which will be, how will this information be presented to the viewer? So we're gonna do a variety of things. We're gonna chat just like we are now. This is our normal way of interacting with you and presenting information. You'll see me and or Daniel discuss concepts. We'll certainly in, uh, engage you and show you some information on the screen. You'll see me use some PowerPoint slide decks that'll magically appear uh, highlighting information. There'll be detailed episode notes for all the episodes we go through. I encourage you to take a look at those, especially if you're gonna be studying for the ECIH exam. And as I mentioned, that super duper special section at the end of the course called the hands-on section where Daniel and I actually open up one or more virtual machines, trot out these tools, implement them, and walk you through how to use them, specifically the ones that are most likely to be asked about on the exam. So you're gonna be able to not only hear about how these things work, be told about them, interact with us, and hear from us and share our experiences with you about how we do this in the real world, but you're gonna see both of us show you what we do and how we do it. So it's gonna be a nice mix of different capabilities and modalities. Well, thanks so much for that, Adam. I know that I'm super excited about this series. Hopefully you are now as well, and we look forward to seeing you in those upcoming episodes.